Greetings today from the Source NY Meta Energy Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. I am Dr. Stacy Lamar. Today is Thursday, July 6, 2023, continuing my weekly series on the YouTube channel. Uh, a new message, new week, and I'm happy to be here. I took a look back at other videos of the past because I was really wanted to make sure that I hadn't spoken about this before and was really surprised that I have never spoken about this topic before, the best I could tell. Um, so much of what I do every day is related to this, this um, shedding of this negative energy. And certainly the reason why I wrote the book Starseed and the healing modalities I use every day are to help continue to shed and strengthen myself, shed the negative and strengthen myself every day. If you're hearing this video today, then you really should consider listening to it because this message is for you. There's no accident that you're going to be hearing this video today. Uh, the topic is about fear. Okay. Fear as a, an emotion goes deeper than that. And in my beautiful channelings with our archangels that I've done over several years, this message came through with Archangel uh, Gabriel. And I want to give credit there that this is a message that was channeled by this beautiful communicating messenger of light. But that's not the bottle from the Orosoma wall that I'm going to use to help share this message. I'm going to pick today bottle 100. This is called Metatron. It's deep magenta on the bottom and it's clear on top. And Metatron is an archangel also, um, but not the channel or not the reason why I'm speaking about this message specifically. Um, I'm choosing these colors and I'll explain in a few moments. Fear is a negative energy, but take it a little bit deeper. Fear is not of light. The God source, however you identify it, did not put you into human form, incarnate you into human form with fear. You came here completely naive, completely not understanding what you were getting into because you were born with the unconditional love of the God source, that whole realm of light, love without condition, absolutely devoid of anything harmful. Anything harmful that we have been exposed to now, past life or this life, is part of that shadow of darkness that uh, we have to learn how to uh, negotiate. Okay. Fear is an energy drainer. It is designed to suck the energy out of you, deplete you of your stores, your, your, your physical, your emotional, your spiritual stores, so that you cannot be everything that you are supposed to be. You might call it an energy vampire. Some people might call it something different. Regardless, fear depletes your energy. And you know this, if you've experienced fear, every person on this planet has experienced fear one time or another. Uh, some just sporadically, others deal with it chronically. Okay. When you are in a state of fear, when you're afraid of something, your body goes into what in healthcare we call fight or flight. It's a way that you're autonomic, sympathetic, all your nervous systems kind of react. Your adrenaline goes up, your heart rate begins to race, hormones all change as a means to help your physical being overcome and manage what you're going through in that moment. And for those of you that go through this chronically, live in a chronic state of fear, then your body is always like, like that. You're always walking around feeling afraid, uh, you know, panic attacks or whatever it is. And that's really unfortunate. So this is not about judgment, but this is about just the expression of what fear is. Fear is an energy drainer. It is designed and intended to keep you from being everything you can be. Fear is not of light. Okay. Sometimes we experience fear and we have to overcome it and we do and we deal with it and manage it and we put it in the back, put it in the closet and then we let it go and forget about it and hope that it never comes back. So most of the time I think people take their fears or whatever that fear may be and they kind of bury their head in the sand and they just say, all right, well, it's over with now. I'm not, I don't want to deal with it. I'm suggesting to you today, bring it out into the open because your fear is a teacher. 
It's here to teach you so that you can learn how to actually dissolve it. Not only cope with it, dissolve it so that you can strengthen yourself and you, and you can work on raising that vibration of yours and becoming everything you want to be. A lot of times we don't even recognize fear within ourselves. So let me even take it a little deeper than that. It's easier sometimes to see fear in the people around us that we live with or within our orbit than it is to see fear within ourselves. So, you know, you might have a person that you know that has anxiety disorder, a person that you know that's afraid of heights. You can recognize fear in others sometimes quicker than you can recognize it in yourself. So fear is an incredible teacher. All the people around you that you have been exposed to that have taught you something about fear have taught you how they respond to fear if you've seen it and what they do to deal with it if, you, you know, if you're you uh, know privy to that information. So fear is a teacher as much as it is an energy drainer. So what I'm trying to say to you today is that if you're on a spiritual journey, if you are looking to raise your vibration and you're looking to really be connected in this awakening phase that we're in, this awakening of the globe that's happening in this world right now, if you are consumed with or dealing with fearful issues, then you are going to struggle with actually getting to where you want to be. You can't avoid facing your fears and you can't avoid dealing with it in order to properly raise your vibration, clear out any karmic knots, anything around you that's preventing you from being your full potential. And most commonly that negative energy that's bringing you down is going to be something that's fear-based. Okay. Or a Soma bottle B100 is the Metatron bottle. Metatron bottle is a uh, Metatron. Metatron is the keeper of the Akasha, the Akashic records. Okay. In the collection, Deep Magenta is um, really about dark shadow, about shadow arts, but dark shadow and the clear I've spoken about a thousand times is about understanding, bringing light into, bringing clarity to. So I really think that when it comes to fear, if you looked at the fear as the Deep Magenta, I want to bring the light into it. I want to take that beautiful, clear energy. I want to take that light that is radiant and help you to identify around you what issues, what topics, whatever, whatever's, what are the things around you that you are afraid of or that bring fear in your world? And let's work on getting to the root cause of what's causing the fears and maybe reframe, well, not maybe, reframe, reframe what fear is about, recognize it as an energy drainer that is preventing you from being everything you can be. It takes a lot of work to overcome fear. I am a light worker. I self-identify as a star seed. I am a nurse practitioner. I have a doctorate degree. I still deal with certain fears. I have never liked to fly. I dread thinking about getting on an airplane, despite the fact that it's an irrational fear. It's a fear that I deal with when I do fly. Okay. And it's not of God. And it's not because I've had a bad experience in this lifetime that I'm aware of. Maybe I did in a past lifetime that hasn't come to the surface yet, but certainly it's not something that I can consciously tell you why it happens. I just know that it's an energy drainer. If I have to go on an airplane someplace over the years, I can stress out about that for four weeks before a flight um, because of the fear of being on an airplane. So in that, and in that stressing out over, you know, what happens in the four weeks, I feel pressure, I, my heart, I feel good. Um, you know, it impacts me not only physically, but it impacts me emotionally. I might become more irritable, less kind to be around, right? More argumentative with people that I love. So there's a lot of trickle down that happens from people when they're in a, in a state of fear, whatever that state is caused by, doesn't matter. It's the emotion of fear. It's that negative energy of fear. It just, it can 
just weaken you as a person, weaken you as a family, weaken us as a society. So I'm asking you to think about this and make it important. If you're on a spiritual path and you're trying to really wake up and you're trying to raise your vibration, consider how important an evaluation of yourself and honestly jot it down. What am I afraid of? What really gets under my skin? What worries me? And let's start looking at it, not as something to be um, ashamed of or embarrassed by. Look at it as the dark energy it is. It is a negative energy, an energy-based vampire, a hook, whatever you want to call it, that is intended to drain you so that it can weaken you. It will... Uh, weaken you, it will prevent you from being everything you can be, lower your vibration, and cause disharmony, disease, and all these things, okay? Bring the light into the shadow and use that shadow as a teacher for you. Look at the shadow around people that you know and how they identify with things, what they're afraid of, and then do a self-assessment. Because truly, if you are recognizing in other people around you um, their shadows, then there's a lesson to be learned. Not one person that we are involved with in our lives is, um, how do I put that? We have lessons from every experience in life. Everything we are involved with, every experience, every person we meet, people that we um, assess, people that we make judgments about, even judgments of love, judgments of love or not, we are learning from these experiences, okay? So if you are able to recognize fears in people around you, is there a shadow of that fear within you? Look at it as your own expression of self and try to see if there's some similarities within you because that's a really important learning tool in the spiritual world. Being able to master ourselves, to have self-mastery really requires that we are honest with ourselves, the good, bad, and the ugly. And in order to really raise your vibration to the point of feeling the collective oneness, this unity of light, the um, abilities that we, we gain through raising our vibration are priceless. It's a beautiful experience to be able to sit down, connect with light, channel and speak to beings on the other side and feeling that unconditional love of the God source. It's, it's like nothing else you've ever experienced. So to be able to be fully connected in this love from the other side, from the God source, is it's worth the work to really clear the shadows around you, pull the plugs on all those negative uh, uh, cords, negative energies, those vampire cords, so that you can be all that you can be. You know, there's a lot I'm saying here, and I hope that in the end this all makes sense to you. Certainly reach out to me at drstacylamar.com or the source-ny.com. Um, you could find me and we could talk about this and, and have a, another kind of conversation personally. The steps I take every day include the meditation. They include using the colors behind me. Um, they include different rituals and practices that I have that work for me. I use the colors behind me to help bring a message to you. This message specifically about fear, credit does go to Archangel Gabriel because it was that archangel that brought this through and really helped to shine a light on, on things that were happening in my own world that were draining to me. And they were all fear-based, okay? Doesn't mean I'm happy getting on an airplane because I still am human, but you get the point. Raising your vibration, clearing off shadows, and strengthening my energy field through the use of whatever rituals work for you are the best steps in order to understand the gaps that you have or the things you need to work on, a really honest self-assessment is necessary. And in that self-assessment, 
take a look at how you respond to fear, what makes you afraid, and what happens to you. How do I feel when I'm afraid? How often does this happen? And how do you identify fear? Do you identify fear as just a human response or do you see it as something deeper? Do you see it as a dark energy that's really designed to bring you down? Because in the spiritual world, we don't, we are struggling. We all struggle to kind of get through the day and we don't have time and we don't have, um, we are not supposed to. We're not supposed to have to struggle with things like this. Our God source loves us without condition. We are here to meet our full potential. And part of that is getting through these challenges, learning from them, and then helping to teach our contemporaries, our friends. Until next week, you have a wonderful week. God bless.